number one. We are at a game number one ng ating ESL1 Katowice 2019 group stage. Group A, this is Gambit Esports versus for the Dream. And again, this is the best of two and this is our game number one. I'm Recaster G. And I'm Chris. And dito kami. What's up? Energy. Energy. Woo! Mga BIF 10 game. Wala natin boss, pero... No TNC, no liquid. Dota. Dota. No TNC, no liquid. No TNC, no liquid. Ah, lalagay, lalagay ko sa option. No TNC, no liquid. Wala si Miracle, walang TNC. Wala na damit kayo. Ah, gambit number one. Ewan natin. Gambit number one. TNC number one. So itong gambit esports with the Orson Lich, Nyx Assassin. F10K! F10K! F10K draft to F10K draft. That's for the Dream FTD with his Nikes. THD. Jakiro at saka Shadow Shaman. THD. THD is the twin-headed dragon na tawag sa kanya dati sa Dota 1. It is two-headed dragon. Old school. Old school. THD. Miss ka nga. THD. Si Nike, si THD, tsaka si S... Ay, si ano? Si Rasta. Si Rasta. Old school names tayo. Eh, Orsa-Orsa naman dati, di ba? Orsa. Orsa talaga. Si Bull, si ano yun, si Pazzy Wazzy. Gamit yun. Eh, shoutout po sa Ladea family, lalo-lalo lang kay Tita Jolly. Sabi ng weekly, Lastrilia Pueyo. Gambit number one. Let's see, let's see. So, anyway, that's for Gambit is the Razor Tiny, Shadow Demon, Elder Tyrant, so, and Darkseer. So, first three bands na lang, focusing on the laning phase, mga pickups. Well, yung pick-up, of course, yung laning phase natin sa Tiny, malakas siya ka dahil nga sa 3-throw. As for Razor, yung kanyang static link, SD, yung mga Purge, Shadow Poison. So more than that, yung kanya ng first 3 picks. Ay, first 3 bans, pero ito Visage para sa Gambit Esports. M10K! Yan ito, Visage natin. Pag-usapan natin yung nerfs. Na-change yung damage ng familiars from 2040-60 to 15-30-45. Parang ganun. Pinahina ba na sobra yan? Oo! Winakasak nila eh. Winakasak nila yung damage eh. Tingnan natin. So, doon nyo naman sinaktan yung Visage. Pero okay lang, hindi naman ng Visage picker. Fifteen solar assumption damage per charge to twenty. Ay, eto atay siya na sabi mo. Di pa, di pa, may pa isa isa pa. Radiant team back. Scroll down. Sino yun? Older updates. Familiars. Older updates. Familiar. This is strength gain. Sino yun? Sino yun? Sino yun? Damage. Nawasa ko yun ni. This is. Dato to update. Older updates. Tingnan naman na natin ha. Inaharap na natin yung visage update sa sinasabi kasi. Wala, bago lang yun. Sa 21B lang yun. 21 lang yun. Pero may luwan na nakalagay dun eh. Baka lang ba? Check na. Balikan natin, balikan natin. So, Bristleback for FTD. So, yun. For Bristleback para side ng FTD. Actually, Bristleback is really good against our visage. But the problem is, he's back against our Ursa. So, Ursa, he can lane safe lane, he can lane off lane. It will be a pretty good time for him. Kasi yung problem, yung dalawang supports is pretty good against Arusa, which is the Shadow Shaman and our Jakiro. So, Jakiro, really strong laner. Dual Brit. Sira ka agad yung playstyle ni Orsa na run down, fast attack speed. Dual Brit slows both movement speed and attack speed. Shadow Shaman naman hard CC. Shackle Hex. Okay, so for the Dream, they picked out this Beastmaster. So, this is a mid lane Beastmaster. Even the... Mid lane Bristleback, pwede rin. Yes, they can do anything. Flexible. Pwede rin yung mid lane Lifestealer. So, very flexible sila. So, siguro gusto nilang i-abuse yung weak laning phase ni Visage from level 1 to 5. May nakikita ko, ipipick nila. I see the pot. I see Timberso. I see Timberso. Oh my God. Timberso would be their best pick dito para sa akin. It's either Timberso. Well, there's no more Medusa. We will see a Timberso here or even the Outworld Devourer. Because three strength heroes. And Timberso and Audi. Audi is pretty good against these three strong strength heroes. I predict something like a Timberso. Take him off. Oh, for most likely Timberso, OD. What else can we do? MK. MK. Yeah, MK. Timberso, OD. Those three heroes most likely will be a pick here. But I really want to see the Timberso. MK. Alay na. So let's see. Kung ano mong yara sa ating game number one ng ating Gambit versus for the team. So, as for their standings sa game natin. Okay. Ayun, ayun. Nakaklose ko lang pala yung ating Liquipedia. So, standings. 
Okay, so for the side of Gambit, 1 is to 1 pala sila kanina ng forward gaming. For the side of FTDC, 0 to sila sa Mineski. Okay, so Tidehunter. Okay, tao lang, nagkakamali. Defect out the Tidehunter. Well, Tidehunter is okay. I think okay rin Tidehunter kasi puro melee <coughs> heroes ng side ng For the Dream. Well, actually, hero talaga na yung dasak to eh. Yung ating The Surge is... Ano to yung comfort hero niya? Well, let's see. Kasi... So, of, mid yung Ursa. Yeah, mid lane Tama, Ursa. Mid lane Ursa. Safe lane yung Visage. Well, they can still play this as a Visage mid, Tama, mid lane Tama. if they want to. Switch on the heroes. I mean, players. Hmm, Tama. Good. So, hindi. It's possible na they are laning the Visage sa top lane. Kasi gusto nila i-lane yun against our Beastmaster. Because if we are laning the Visage against the Bristleback, <laughs> that's bullshit. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Sa sa trapa kong si Jomar nanalo sa Swerd Swerdress. Sana mabat mabalatuhan kami. Sana rin sana kami din. <laughs> Tumatanggap po ako ng mga stars. bagya. Stars na lang, stars na. Stars, Petrin stars. stars. Oh, ano yan? Oh, yan, Jazz uh, Samsung lang pa magugulo ka na naman dito. <laughs> Kulit mo. Hingi ka na lang duelance kay Jajun. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is our game number 1 ng ating Gambit versus For the Dream. Let's see who wins this. Mananalo ba Gambit dito for the dream? So in terms of draft Gambit esports, yung goal naman talaga nila dito is to siege with the visage familiars eventually. Yes, sir. Yun. For, for the dream naman, to get this night 6 slotted, win the team fight, and uh, roll over the lanes. Yes, yes, yes. Might see a uh, lifestealer with Radiance. Well, I don't think this is a good Radiance game. Tingin mo. Radiance game by the I think battle. okay naman. Kasi Radiance yun nga, yung missed chance for the Ursa. <laughs> From yung Gravekeeper's Cloak, mawawala, matatanggal. Tapos yung, uh, yun yun. I guess, really good <coughs> Radiance game for you. Oh, okay lang naman, Tiro. Yun, mas tips on to BT Faded. Apat ah, agad ang tip kay BT Faded. GLHF mo, ang awa mo. Away nila si BT Faded. Well, BT Faded is a C player. Southeast Asian player yan, si BT Faded. Hmm. I think he's Malaysian. Mineski vs OG, dun po tayo sa kabilang stream. Ay, sa akin namin lang. Oh, Pero yun, nandun sa kabilang stream, nandun nga sila. Mineski vs OG. Na kay, ano nga. Oh, ba bawal yung sinasabi nun, report nyo mga page nun. <laughs> bawal sinasabi nun, nagdadrop ng names. <coughs> okay, anyway, pakalala muna sila. <laughs> sila mga nakalimutan natin. For the side of Gambit, it is FNG on his lich. All a key team. Basta yun, Tide Hunter. Si Old. As for the Ursa, it is Afuni J. Immersion on the next assassin and the sack. Playing at our visage. Okay, for our the, the dire team for FTD. Oh, hindi ko mabasa yung Chinese. Sorry. Si, si basta siya na yun. Yan, si Chinese player. Sorry, Chinese ako, pero hindi ko pa rin mabasa eh. Yan. Yan. So, same-same na lang. Tawagin natin siya same-same sa Beastmaster. YRG? Y yes. YRG on the Bristleback. QIQX. QIQX. QIQX in his uh, Jakiro. Tapos si Faded on the Lifestealer. And, sino? Si James. Napaganda pa James, pangalan. Shadow Shaman. Napaganda pa pangalan. Sobrang ganda ng pangalan ng Shadow Shaman. Ang hirap na mga pangalan na to. Challenge yan na to eh. Napaganda pa pangalan, James. Palitan Sino nga natin, ba nagpapangalan na ganun? Palitan nga natin pangalan natin pag maglalaro tayo next time. Pag kinakash na. <laughs> oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Pero ito, midlay na. It is the Ursa against our Bristleback. Which I think this is an Ursa winning matchup. But Bristleback can win, still win this lane depending so, on you know, how he plays this game. Oh, actually I like the Ursa in this matchup. Pero compared to a side lane, maikli lang yun yun eh. So parang it's easier for the Bristleback to hide under the tower. But actually they are switching lanes. So basically they don't want the lane to, to lane the lane steer against our Vintage. They're avoiding the try lane. Well, actually this is still good for our Tidehunter because Anchor Smash really is really good against our life stealer. Pero sa top lane dito, pinapasok nila si James. James, one hit at na makikita na nga nila. And that's the first blood para sa sasakit ang gambit natin. One Napakasaya. One out of ten. <laughs> one out of ten. Ay, napakasaya. Uh, sa mga idol. Mga idol, pasyala naman po sa mga Nile Chief Gaming dito sa Tidback Lady. Especially kay Tambor Isaia. Sabi ni Vincent San Corridor Tan. Napakaaba ng pangalan mo. Parang pasensya ko. Minsan. <laughs> Pero ito nga yung, it is that research and the leech against our okay, Beastmaster on the top lane. So, so ito, ito yung draft ng Gambit Esports na na-notice ko last time na kinask ko rin sila. Oh. Paborito, paborito nila tong pag try lane with the Visage. So sige try lane nila tong Visage. Maka okay, ano, tinitake advantage sila na si Visage. Meron siya slow na matagal. Oh, slow may nuke. Mm. May nuke pa siya. Oh, malakas naman siya man try lane. Like nung Dota 1 Grace. Oh. 
Dota 1, early Dota 2. Visage was a Tridator. As a support naman dati. Ngayon, yes, as a core. As a core. <laughs> oh, Kasi tama. napakalakas ang soul assumption niya talaga. Ah, tama, tama. Actually, ni-nerf na ngayon. Pero sa top lane natin, mal malaki pala ang kill, uh, kill potential nila dito. Ha? Kasi they can just stun, frost armor, speed shield. May, may burst pa sila. Oh, and they have a lot of kailangan mag-ingat dito sa inyo ng FTD. Eto, pinipink na nila si Beastmaster. Pero easy lang. Easy ka lang. Pero si FNG dito, level 2 na itong leech natin. Kaya kailangan niya mag-ingat dito. Kasi plus 1 slow pa to. So, 3 slows na ang meron sila. <laughs> But our bottom lane muntik na mamatay doon si Tidehunter ng ating Lich, at, ay Lich, ng ating Jakiro and our Lifestealer. Pero nakapakaswer. Boss, kilan po laban ng Fanatic? Kilan po laban ng Fanatic? Wait lang, eto, tinan natin ang laban ng Fanatic. I think tomorrow yung laban ng Fanatic. Na group B tomorrow. Tomorrow, to, tomorrow group B. To, tomorrow yung group B natin. Pero, ito, top lane natin. Eto, they are trying to go on our beast na Astor as, again, stun will connect and a frost blast will help to secure the kill. So that's 2-0 na. Hmm, para sa'yo nanggamit. Oh, yan yung design nung try rate na yun is to get the kill. Hmm, patay lang ng patay. Tapos itong mid lane natin, si Apu DJ is just hitting onto YRG. Ito na, ito na nga yung Furious Wipes natin na stacks. Well, pinahina na nga ito eh. Like, dati kasi sobrang tagal bago mabala na ito, diba? So, binalik nila yung parang 8 seconds sa level 1. Pero pagdating ng level 7, back to 20 seconds yan. Tama lang, binalance lang nila. Dati kasi 20 seconds talaga siya magdamag eh. Pwede mo tamaan ng apat na beses tapos kailangan one creep with you mamibase mo eh, for sure. O dati ganun, di ba? Oo. Pero ngayon, medyo umokay na. Pero to top lane natin, tatago lang sa immersion dito. Maybe you're just trying to wait for them to go down the lane, stun na naman, cross blast, cross armor. Let's see. Ito yung sh ating Shadow Shaman, nakikita nila na napakalalim Pero nasa slow siya ng boar And the right legs come from our Beastmaster To stop immersion in, in his aggression Meron din si James, medyo malalim siya And the stun will hit on to James James, meron siya, hindi siya naglalagay pala ng spell dito Actually, ayaw nila mag-commit kasi may eclipse dito eh Hidasak So talagang, ah, uh, di naman sila pressure to make a move now Despite na trying sila Kasi yung creep equilibrium nasa side na ng tower nila So, nadetin ay hidasak yung buong creep wave Yes Ito. Shoutouts nga pala, Kuya Ken! Alam mo na, Kuya Ken, ha? Alam mo na! Now, Jakiro teaming onto our top lane. So, Jakiro Hill will try to help them din sa top lane. Pero si Immersion dito, naka-frost armor na naman. And a stun will hit onto our, onto our Beastmaster. Pero dito siya Samuel with the shackle onto our Lich. And Lich will fall. Immersion, medyo delikado rin siya dito. Rylix, napakasakit. At na-slow na rin siya ng boar. Pero nice job from Immersion to save one point para sa kanyang Spike Carapace. Ito. So, try lane versus try lane naman. Yun, medyo pantay itong try lane versus try lane. Kasi itong Beastmaster, kahit na single target siya, may boar siya to help this try lane. May vision din siya. Pero ito yung mid lane pala. Kung nahihirama pa si Afo Ninja dito, kasi na, si RYRG, nagagamit niya yung mga runes. Yung mga runes. Na, una, nakakuha siya ng regen. Then next, nakakuha siya ng Arcane rune, which is pretty good for him. Pero... Pistol back has this natural, uh, yun nga, natural na sa kanya to shove the lane using his quill spray. So yes. talaga makukuha niya yung priority pag dating doon sa runes. Pero yung 3 bounty runes will go for the side of FTD. Kasi na-own nila tong top plus dito sa babatik, isa lang sila. Tama, tama. So bottom lane, I think this would be fine na sa ating life stealer kasi na nakaligtas na siya doon sa early na pressure na dinidish out ng tide. Sell. Bye. Oh, di ba? Nakikinig? Yan is Coach G. Coach nyo na ako, coach nyo na ako, bumili ka mga idas. Ayan na nga. Galing, galing, galing. Hindi na coach yun, parang yung robot ko na yun eh. Bili ka mga idas, pindutin mo to. So for our top lane, so the rotation ng Jakiro, nakakatulong sa top. Na try lane versus try lane na sila. So, they want to help this LD kasi sila yung stealer sa bottom lane. Mababa naman kill potential ni Tidehunter kay Kalev Stealer. Actually, there's no kill potential. Kahit sabihin natin may ravage, sino na makapatay yan? It's quite impossible. From both sides, walang kill potential. Ito yung medyo traditional trade to fart now. Nakakuha pa nga ng haste to si Afo Ninja, so this is possible na makakuha. How? Ay, makakatay sila na kill! At ayun na nga, eto top lane. Hindi pa nga, hindi yun nila alam na may haste dito yung ating Ursa. They are trying to find some targets here. And here comes the frost armor on to our lids. On to our Jakiro. Jakiro medyo delikado na dito. Pero eto yung Ursa natin na siya. Kailangan ating Shadow Shaman makulit ka. Eto ikaw na lang. And Shadow Shaman will fall here as well as our Jakiro. One more hit, two more hits. And Jakiro will fall as well. So that's a four. He's to two. Para sa'yo ng ating gambit. Eto yung ating Ursa. Actually... Kung titignan natin ang network, network charge natin, na, top 1 network natin, is our Bristleback. Actually, Bristleback is winning against the Ursa. So actually, 
in terms of yun nga, yung sabi natin yung lane kasi sobrang ikli. Kaya kaya lang niya i-push to tapos mag-jungle na rin yung bristle back. Wala masyadong pressure kasi ang ikli nung lane eh. Kaya yung tumakbo kagad sa tower. Tsaka ito kinahina pala ni Ursa. Hindi na siya as strong as before. Uh, na sobrang lakas sa lane. Kasi yung furious webs niya, 8 seconds lang. Oh. Oh, parang ano lang, mahinang burst. Ayun. Oo, oh, ayun. Oh, 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 Tsaka pag tumatalikod siya, yun, bumabalik lang rin yung damage eh. Oh, pero ito, dinadive na ng ating bristle back. Yung itong Ursa na sa midlane. Medyo delikado siya. But here comes the rotation coming from Arlis. Frost Armor, Frost Blast. On to YRG, Apo DJ. Ito na, napakakapit na sa Nenrage. Two more hits, one more hit. Coming from Apo DJ. Oh, oh. namatay pa kasi Apo DJ. Pero yun, 5 to 3 na ating kills. Ito yun. So, 7 minutes into this game. Pantay pa ating net worth. Medyo, may konting lead yung side ng Gambit. Pero, 5 kills na para sa Gambit. Yung yung importante eh, no? Hindi naman din naman. Takto lang. Kaya pa sa tasak, meron siyang metal. So, magagamit niya ang metal just to clear out the boards. Yung light of bottom lane. Ayun na nga, ating title hunter is getting close to his... Vlads? Yeah, his Vlads. Pero problema dito. The life stealer is going for a Midas. Well, itong ang title hunter natin is forced to go into a blood. So, eventually, mananala itong life stealer in terms of farm. Oo. Pero early game strat naman to kay Tide Hunter. Like, when he, when he gets the Vlads, they can pressure towers. Meanwhile, etong life stealer natin, magpa-farm pa siya na magpa-farm. Up to the point na magka-item siya. Like the Radiance. Mitch, I think, yeah, he is going Radiant this game. Pero eto si James. Makikita siya ng ating Mitch na naka-NB. So, Dasak, wala pa siyang ulti dito. Well, yung power spec ng ating Visage. Well, you know, guys, syempre sa akin yung summon familiars. Pitch damage, 20-40-60 pa rin. Naging 20-40-60 na dati yata. Hindi ko sigurado. I'm not a message speaker. Pero sa midday na matay nga ito si James. So that's 6 kills para sa ito. Ati gambit! Pero FTD, FTW. Mas wet ko line up nila. Ewan natin boss. Pero ewan. Hindi ko sure eh. Kasi like... Well actually I like the line up ng FTD din. Kasi pag tumagal tong game na ito. Mas okay yung life stealer na naka-radiance para sa akin. Pero parang may plano din naman yung gambit. Plus si Breezel back. Na maraming item. Like... Hindi siya mababurst down ni Ursa. It's gonna be a problem for a side of Gambit. They need to own the mid game. Well, let's say the early game. Ito medyo na magagawa nila paraan. Pero they really need to own the mid game. If Lifestealer gets space in Bristleback as well, dalawa kailangan nalang target in sa teamfight. In terms of Bristleback, pag inataka siya ng Visage natin, maubos ng lahat ng familiars niya. As well for Lifestealer na may Radiance, it'll be a problem as well. Pero ito, level 6 na nga natin. Ito na si Dasak. Mayroon na siya mga Samon. May Ibo na rin siya. Pero ito, here come the stun. Come from Immersion onto our Shadow Shaman. But I think easy, easy lang naman. And dito si ating Beastmaster. Ay, ito, tinitira na nga ng ating familiars. Pero ang hina pala ang damage niya, no? Nabablock ko siya ng Stout Shield ngayon, eh. Ha? Oo. Kasi 20 na lang, eh. Pero sa bottom lane, nandun, nasulo. Ay, nasulo kill. Oh, yes, nasulo kill ni Lifestealer. Doon si yung Orsa, yung ano natin, Tide Hunter. Nangyari sa Dota 2, nasulo kill yung Tide ng Lifestealer. What the fuck? But here's the top lane natin, the stun will connect onto our bristle back Frost blast, onto our bristle back, and ito po stuns Oh, si Immersion dito, sinugal ang kanyang buhay Immersion Mapa Frost armor, pero here comes the shackle to secure the kill onto our next assassin My god My god So that's 6 kills for the side of Gambit and 5 for the FTD Nagbago yung change of plans Nagchange na, nagchange na, bumago pa pero ito na nga, our Ursa here is going for a Midas. So, once he scared the late game. Kasi alam niya yung early game niya, nag-fail na siya eh. Yung, ito, less shock natin. Ay, less shock. I mean, our Visage dito is going for a Dominator, which will help him sa early game. Pag hinahilight mo ba yung skill, makikita mo yung change? Hindi na. Hindi na? Yung pag hinahilight mo, makikita mo ba yung kill update? Hindi na, hindi na. Hindi na. Ayun o, yun o, nakikita mo. Yun o, pinalitan nila yun o, damage reduced. To 20-40-60 Pero sa midline natin Nandito nga They're trying to kill James Dito Tatama pa nga ng ating James Frost James Here comes the shackle Onto FNG FNG medyo delikado Isang putok na lang Mamamatay siya But here comes the stun And here comes the ice pad Come from our Jakiro Plus the dual breath Pero medyo easy-easy lang Nandito na rin ating Tide Hunter Papasukin Mapasukin niya Pero ito kay Tide Hunter natin Meron ng Bloody Mirrors And rotation onto our midline Wala nga silang ravage Level 8 Wala silang ravage Oh my god Very greedy to For lane lang talaga Itong build nito Backstroke Ito nga yung tinatawag natin na backstroke ni Kuya. Tag ka na, Ravage. Ravage. Uy. 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 Ayaw pa rin maglagyan na Ravage. Gash pala yung pinili niya eh. Gash, no? Tagal! Ang tagal! 
Ina tayo ka malagay siya rapid eh. Hindi siya demon siya naglalagay kasi yung malay mo gush lang kailanganin niya. So, he's not putting up a point on to our ravage. For now. For the mid lane, Apo Ninja is minus is up. But actually, ba't kaya nila mas pinipili ang stout shield and the wailing blade instead of our magic wand? So, siguro kasi more of farm oriented. May stats din naman kasi yung magic wand eh. Yung same shit lang eh. Pero ito, top lane natin is being pressured by the shock. So, tier 1 top lane, nababawasan na sobra-sobra. Immersion here, makikita niya nagro-rotate si YRG Par, pangit patay niya par! Diablo yan! Pag-usapan natin itong break ng Vendetta Ah, may break, ah, break pa nga lang itong Vendetta Pahitin mag-break, parang kami Pero ito na nga, here comes the break come from the Vendetta And here comes Ursa Galit na galit si Ursa, he is eating out our Bristol back Pero si Bristol back, here comes the roar coming from our Peace Master at pinapatigan niya lang doon yung ating Ursa So... Yung Bristol back with be fine But here comes the rotation Here comes the frost blast And the chain from Sadly News Magbabounce pa bad And here comes the ward usage Coming from James Onti Immersion Immersion dito Mukhang mamamatay na Mukhang masyado niya lang Ginalingan Tinitira nalang Bristol back Very wrong Siyempre Naka milti Hindi tayo milti par Wala mo lang Hindi ko siya pwede sabihin to Basta very blast Hindi nalang Very very blast tayo Very blast Hindi pwede sabihin ko ano to But very blast Pero ito si Lich natin yan, so Arcane Boots, which... Actually, yung Lich ngayon, kung napapansin nyo, hindi na siya nagtatrunkle boots. Kasi wala na siya nung Dark Ritual. Oo, wala na siya mana region ngayon. Tsaka, mag-gastos pa rin siya sa mana. Like, tinan mo, every skill, 100 mana, 200 to, yung para Chain Frost. So, he really needs the Arcane. Hindi ito si Lich. Ito mukhang mag-group na sila with the Tidehunter. May Ravage na ba? Ayun, ah, wala pa. Hindi pa siya naglalagay. Actually, level, dalawang naman siya point. Oh, sabay! Sabay, sabay, parang kami. Eto, detouch muna nga talaga na So, they want to just get some trades Ayun nila, labanan yung Tidehunter plus the Visage dito Which is a good decision Coming from the side of FTD Or sa outer mid lane He might try to go for something here And here comes a TP Coming from our Lich Pair na slow na din si Ursa And here comes our Shaman as well The Ice Spot will connect Outer Ursa Pero ito na yung ating cross armor And here comes the Enrage At nahigop na yung Jakiro Jakiro, one more hit Mamamatay ang Jakiro So, that's 8 to 6 Para sa isang ating gambit Pero ito, bottom lane natin. Here comes our Bristol back. Just pressuring the tier 1 tower onto our bottom lane. Pero ito, nagsiskan na nga yung dire onto our roast pit. At nagro-roast na nga dito yung Tidehunter natin. As well as our Ursa. I think this is okay kasi meron silang Vlad. Plus meron pa silang Ravage. But the problem here is, alam na ng side ng FT dito. Dahil nga doon sa scan, tutuloy pa ba nila to? Wala ka ulti par. Medyo pagkakamali to. Par, par, tama na muna And here comes the Rage Pero hindi siya nag-slow muna Rage usage agad Napakaagad niyang ginamit yung Rage Pero para Ravage dito Tide Hunter And the Ravage And the Chain Frost Mamamatay na yung ating Beastmaster Dito sa back lines Here comes our Visage Mamamatay yung Shadow Shaman And that's Mag the game Di pa Yung Roshan na huwag ni Apo Ninja Dito Apo Ninja Trying to kill our Bristleback And Bristleback will fall As well with the help of Enrage Jakiro Dual Breath Just trying to delay the inevitable Pinapush niya yung wave Pero Jakiro will fall as well So, 12 to 6 na para sa inang gamit. Nice. Ayun na. Buhay na buhay tayo doon. At ito, tier 1 tower sa mid lane will fall to the hands of gambit. This is busy. So, ito, mid lane tower natin for the side of gambit. Makakuha nila agad. Plus, yung Rosha, napakarami nila nakuha doon. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Sayang. Ano yung sabi natin? Medyo, medyo naman na tayo. Wala tayo masasabi. Pagkatapos yun, parang, oh, yun na. Yun na. Back to farming to everyone. Back to farming. Well, I think that binigay na lang ata. Pwede, hindi, pwede rin kasi ilaban talaga ng sign ng FTD yun eh. It is possible yun. Kasi nakapag-sense yun na yun. Tsaka si... Positioning. Lahat sila nakapag-sense for that. Lahat ng teamfight na lang. Early teamfight. Like, like Steeler nandun. Baka wala ka naman item yun. Ano, papalo mo sa kanya? Hand of Midas mo? 40 attack speed. Hand of Midas? 15% movement speed, okay. 18 damage, lakas. Parang tatlong blades of attack lang. Ngayon nga yung problema natin, kasi yung gold lead nitong Nykes, nasa ano pa rin. Sa Midas lang. Saka nasa Banco pa eh. Naka-invest pa. Naka-invest na yung pera niya eh. Hindi pa niya withdraw eh. Pero ito si Immersion, naka-vendi. Ito rin sa bottle lead. Actually, mapapansin mo ito ginagawa niya. Nakatabi. So, surely, he's gonna go for earn. Para sa earn yan. Para mapaisip-isip. Saka very interesting itong build na ito ng Nyx Assassin natin. Ang max yung Carapace. So, para ito sa Bristol Back. Oo, para sa Bristol Back. Kasi sure start ito sa Bristol Back. Pero ito, yung ating 
Nandito yung ating next assassin with the stun Auto Beastmaster, Beastmaster dito Will possibly die, here comes the roar usage Auto next assassin, pero tatakbo lang siya doon Actually, I think that was worth it kasi napagamit ng roar Plus, sa top lane natin, napatay nila yung Jakiro So, Jakiro namatay doon Here comes James with the voodoo and the, our Serpent Ward usage Pero dito, James nga nakakad natin yung Afo Ninja Afo Ninja, si Viti Faded, eto nananampal na naman ng Maidas He's trying to kill FNG dito Here comes FNG with the Sinister's Gaze eto si Afo Ninja, tinitira niya na yung namamag, nalanang pala Maidas. And here comes Overpower at yung ating mga Fury Swipes. At yung Afo Ninja, wala siyang in-rage pa dito in around 5 more seconds. Here comes a double stun come from the sack on to Jakiro and our Crystal Back. So that's a triple kill for Afro Ninja. At nandito na rin si, si ating immersion. Hindi tumama yung kanyang ano. May carapace kasi meron, meron ano eh, may break eh. Afo Ninja, may in-rage pa dito. It's possible gamitin niya to. Here comes the hits come from Afo Ninja. Pero the ages will be popped. Immersion, Immersion, meron pa siyang Spike Carapace At ayun, gumana na But James nandito Pumasok na naman sa mundo ng laro Namatay na naman siya Immersion with a stun on to our Bristleback Na naka-Crimson Guard Afu Ninja He will have his Blink Dagger up in a few more seconds But here comes the Grave Chill on to our Beastmaster Na tinitira lahat And as close And a little bit more hits coming from our Ursa will be enough to take that kill So good use of their Aegis yun So ginamit talaga na yung Aegis for that Tapos na-salvage nila yung teamfight na yun. Na, yung shaman, namatay na. Namatay pa ulit. Namatay ka na, nabuhay ka na. Namatay ka pa ulit. So, napakalaking bagay na para sa inang gamit. And that's a really bad decision coming from the FTD. Plus, hindi nila na-hit yung tower push. Kung talaga, bumalik lang si Dasak sa taas. Push na dito yung tower. Oh, like, man, mages yung kalaban mo. Doon pa lang eh. Nalaban ka? Tapos may Ursa? May Tide? Actually, wala pa silang Ravage noon. They were, able, they were able to win all those fights. So, Sentry Ward plays it sa mid lane natin. Nakita nila yung Nyx dito. Exhortation. Actually, pinning pa nga nila ito eh. So, Sentry Ward, madedetect nila. So, it's possible na mag-place rin sila dito. Sentry Ward's onto the back of the tower. Nangiinis lang. Nang First, nakita rin naman siya eh. Uh, it's fine. Nare life stealer natin dito. Malapit na mabuo ang kanyang Radiance. Hindi na siya mananampal lang Midas. Mar. Mar kang naka-gauntlets lang eh. Naka-golden gauntlets. <laughs> Wala kayo spada na ka. Let's kalan lang malabang ka. Next assassin ito. He has a power trait actually. So, he's planning to right click. So, hey, later this that, game. for that HP. Uh, pa possibly for that HP. Nay, maganda rin naman kasi itong power traits. Uh, uh, Aji for the movement speed, attack speed, strength for the HP, and the magic <laughs> status resistance. Meron pa ba? Magic resistance na lang pala. Yun na lang. Tapos yun nga, mana region tsaka yung ano para sa ito. Yeah, pero Ursa natin dito, nag-workout yung Midas niya kasi ka... Pero ito, here comes the stun. Oh, to our Jakiro. Jakiro, kakatatin na lang ni Afo Ninja. And that's the godlike streak on to our Ursa Warrior. So, si Dasak dito, he has the Crimson Guard up. They would, they would, even, they would actually try here na pumush dito ng high ground, I think. Kasi walang, wala pang item yung FTD. Actually, hindi, Radiance sa pala to. So, ito na nga, meron ng espada. Yung espada na si Dumbo. Huwag niyo tanong yung Batdambo. Basta ayun na nga. Nalaga ko lang na, oh. Crimson Guard going for that AC. So parang medyo closer na to eh. Item build na to. Okay, okay lang. Ah, AC. AC is actually good. Sige sa lifestealer kasi sa right click. Oh, standard na rin naman yung AC eh. Saka, saka mostly physical damage naman. Oh, pero ito. Makita ni Beastmaster dito. So immersion, immersion. I think he would be just fine. Yes, he would be fine. Papabayaan na lang siya dito. Pero, saan niya ginamit to? May laro pa OG sir Yes po Yes sir Yung OG natin Nandun sa kabilang stream namin <coughs> Na si Lucify And si Kyle Yung nag ano, Nagcast Lotus Lotus Lutus Eto si Afo Ninja Up na ang kanyang BKB Plus meron pa siya Envy dito So it's possible Na pwede na i-go itong Bristleback But I think that's a bad idea Kasi siya yung pinaka tanky the Possible dam Possible at talaga niya dito is our Jakiro or our Beastmaster. Plus meron siyang BKB. Pero ito, kita-kita nila ito. Ice Pat trying to secure. Pero ito, here comes the Blinkin. Come from Achu. Afo Ninja once again. On to our Jakiro. At patay na naman si Jakiro. That is his 7th death into this game. And Shaman 7th deaths na rin. Happy, happy. Tigpit to na. Pero network chance natin. Ayun nga, nangunguna yung ating Ursa. And our Visage. Let's see, let's see kung ano mangyari sa game na ito. Like, ito yung ating Lichia, Zamek na dito. So, they're getting all, all the early items just to secure the push, di ba? Secure na yung teamfight dito. Yes. Items. So, 
most likely Gambit just waiting for a second ages. Pero good decision making to from the side of from PT faded. He bought the Rage he bought the Talisman. So he's focusing on the onto the miss. But immersion dito. Here comes the spikes. Oh, knock off your Radiance ba? He's gonna spikes. And here comes the ice pad. That will connect on to our Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin, Maroro na nga. And the Macro Pile, binigay na lahat! Binigay na lahat sa Nyx Assassin natin. Lahat! Roar! Ay, Macro Pile! Lahat! Buti pa siya. Binigay lahat. Pero ito nga, Roar siya natin. Will just spawn in around 40 more seconds. Beastmaster, yeah, only has a Vlad. He's going for a 4 stop, so saves. Saves. Initiation niya, pero hindi niya makakalabas yung break dagger kasi yun nga, pag pumasok siya, hindi siya makakalabas ng team fight dito. Okay, man, pinasok siya, hindi siya nakalabas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, best example, pinasok siya, hindi siya nakalabas. He died, once again. I think, I don't know about, eh, siguro, he's expecting this game to Ay, yun, be delayed sa ating late game kasi XP game pa rin ginawa niya. Well, tama naman XP game, so sumusugal na siya. Soul or nothing, ba? Kasi kung magmo-movement speed siya dito, it will... Same, parang same lang. 20 movement speed lang. Parang bumili ka lang ng peri... Ng ano yun? Ng peri... Winless. Ng winless. Yes, winless. Ilan ba ito? Mood winless nga. 20. Pero ito nakikita na lang yung Jakiro dito. And that's 8 net for ay Jakiro. 2-8-2. Napakahirap kasi kailangan talaga lumabas itong Jakiro to set up wards Pero bantay na bantay nila immersion and oh. gambit So parang aggressive spots. rin kasi oh. ni heroes na to eh Like I think if Afu Ninja here gets his basher later on la, Medyo mahirapan na rin life stealer natin dito Actually if he gets basher then go, goes for the MKB I think uh, oh. life stealer that will be the biggest problem Medyo mahirap oh, to trade even as a life Pero stealer. it is actually good the Heaven Salbert against our Ursa Plus yung mga miss like walang damage na mag Ma magda damage kayo like stealer like lahat sila summon sa isang right clicks na summon alam ka naman mag mkb yung mga summon uh, ni Bisaj hindi rin siya mag mkb might be able to get the blood turn pero let's see eto si Afo Ninja we are trying to find someone here that's a pressuring onto our mid lane he's getting close to his assault grass 23 minutes into this game immersion trying to find someone here pero nakita siya dito ng ating sentry as well as the wards Medyo tayamik lang muna tayo sir, may, may nagwawala doon sa gilid Pero ito nga yung midline natin, here come the sack Mmm Ay, yun, uh, sorry, assault keras, okay Ay, mmm Why RG dito? Actually, ito hindi na natin papatch Actually, dalawa pa lang halberd nila eh Halberd is really, really good against, this, uh, against the lineup ng ating gambit For the familiars, so, for the ursa Passive evasion for the familiars, tapos yung active for the ursa So, yes. yung first one, tapos pag in-enrage yun, kaya pa rin i-halberd after Hindi na de-debuff Hindi na de-debuff to Undispellable Okay, tama, tama. Is that a word? So yeah, the double halberd for the Ursa. Is that even a word? Undispellable. Tama ba? Oh, tama, tama. So kanina word of the game natin, desecrate. Desecrate and undispellable. Pwede, pwede, pwede. Pero ito yung ating Roshan. They are just waiting for the Rosh to spawn in which it will spawn in. Right, right now. May kutop, may kutop. Ah, eh, ito na nga yung Ursa natin. Hindi ko kukunin na lang Roshan dito, pero top lane. Dito si Dasa. Ay, yung mga samon niya. Mukhang papatayin so free 100 pesos para kay... Mas stun pa ba? Hindi na na-stun! So I think we will just TP out dito. Ito yung ating research with the familiars drop. Hindi na abot. But I think that's the Ursa going... That's the Aegis going for Ursa na dito. Kasi alam na lang may ano eh. May Rosh. At yun nga. Actually, ito na yung maganda ginagawa ng Ursa. Like, you will use your empower agad. Tapos pag hit niya mo 7, another empower agad. So, pass the Roshan. I think, side of FDD, they really need to fight this out. Kasi pag nag-Aegis pa to si Ursa, plus the cheese, it'll be a big problem for them. Okay. Which, yes, it'll be a big problem for them kasi hindi nila alam na may Roshan na. And the Roshan will be going for the side of ating Gambit and the Aegis will go to the Ursa. So this time, Aegis and Cheese going to Gambit. Tingnan natin, pag na-high ground na ba sila or kukunin na na yung one lane tier 2. I think they're gonna go high ground na ngayon. Kasi, kasi may cart, may cart na rin kasama mo. Plus, Assault Crash na si Visage. Plus, I think if the game goes on any longer, may mahihirapan na ang gambit dito. Kahit sabihin mo ganyan yung network, it is still the life stealer with the Radians and the Halbert going for Assault Crash. Actually, if he goes Assault Crash na ngayon, tas... Yeah, actually, magkaka-damage pa rin naman si Ursa dito eh. Kasi yung item niya tuloy-tuloy pa rin because he has the Hand of Midas. At let's see kung ano mangyari dito. It is still Bristleback as well. Pero may Arcane Rune tong Bristleback natin. So. Pero tignan natin itong ano mangyari dito Kasi Ursa pa rin yan bar Kahit nasabi mong ganyan na item dyan Mawawala pa rin yan Oh but here comes the TP Coming from early to try to defend the bottom lane Mid lane as well Pero ito 
Tier 3 tower nasa bottom lane. Ay, sa top lane pa lang. Actually, kind of fine kasi dun sa Crimson Guard usage natin. Mershon trying to tank it out. Pero here comes the blink in cover. Marusai with the enrage. Ito na. Nasa asap ng Bristle back natin. And Bristle back will fall. He does have a buyback here. Let's see kung mapuforce pa nga. But here comes our life stealer. Keeping on to the middle of the fight. May vendetta pa to. But I think he will just go back dito. Ice path will connect on to our... Next, but here comes the Ravage. On to VT Faded. VT Faded will fall. VT Faded may buyback siya dito. But the buyback ng ating Bristle back would be forced. Huwag kailangan na mag-buyback na rin dito ng Lifestealer, kundi kukulangin sila sa galing. Here comes the X-Own. Tornix na sa asin. And nasa akin, nasa burutan na rin. And seems like Nix at... Uy! Cheese! Cheese! Cheese usage! Gabi naman yun! At Avon AJ, mapapa rin, Jakiro! But here comes the buybacks coming from our Jakiro as well as a Lifestealer. Kito yung ating Bristle back. Bukong mamamatay! And that's a dieback on to our Bristle back! Life Stealer dito, nasa kita na ng ating laban. Mayroon siya race dito. But here comes our Ursa once again. But ang good dive, good dive na naman doon sa ating Jakiro. Ursa, galit na galit. Mayroon pa siya ditong basher. VT Faded, wala ang buyback. And the stun will connect on to VT Faded. VT Faded na bash na nga. That's a dieback on to our Life Stealer as well. So, three heroes ng side ng ating FTD na matay. SNGG has been gold for the side of FTD. So, 1-0 na. Agad para sa side ng ating Gambit. So, that... What can you say about that? Was that one-sided or nakakalabang pa bang FTD? Very one-sided after the laning phase. After, actually, after the first row, siya naman natin saan matungo yung game na to eh. Actually, laning phase, for the side of FTD, they were, pre oh. they, they were playing it perfectly. Perfect na yun. Sobrang perfect na laning phase. But, the problem is... Yung row siya na mm. talaga. Yung parang contest nila doon sa first row siya. Doon...